We gotta break the bad news to Savannah. The principal just called. You're getting unenrolled from high school. We have some pretty exciting stuff to do tonight. Maybe you can come with us. Did you know if you say trick or treat tonight, they'll give you candy? There's something wrong with your eyes. Okay, apparently it's Christmas. Well, Santa Claus is over here. You are so not happy right now. Where is people's decency anyway? <laughs> It's time for all the ghouls and goblins to get up. Happy Halloween! Wake up! Max is making breakfast for us. I was about to say the exact same thing. <laughs> so you better come with me. We gotta break the bad news to Savannah. Like this is like for reals. Uh-huh. Oh, you scared me. Um, bad news. You're getting unenrolled from high school. The principal just called. And unfortunately, we're going to have to unenroll her unless we get those um, soon. Uh, if you could contact me. Well, he told you unless we get them soon. He said, I'm sorry, we're going to have to unenroll her until we get those. Yeah. So, all this. So, what? How come we don't have them in there? Because we haven't taken her to get a shot, the shots. What shots? Her immunizations. Yeah. And I don't have an exempt form. And so. What, I just, just haven't. Her? I'm just gonna have him email me an exempt form and I'll fill it out. Why do you need an exempt form? Because I don't take her to get the shots. I mean, we'll take her to get the, shots, get the shots, but but you have to have an appointment. Well, Let's get an appointment. Take. But she has to go to school tomorrow, so I'm just gonna fill out the exempt form, give it to the school. She can take it in the morning. Yeah, they're they're at, it's they're in sixth season, so you know they're like, ah, oh, we gotta get this done. Well, it's it's not even that. It's from the very beginning. It's their it's I the know, state but I'm rules. I know. I'm saying it now. Yeah. Be like, uh, what are we? What are you guys doing over there? This is not homeschool. You don't just do what you want. <laughs> we have rules. Okay. And do I make that appointment with you, or how do I? Yeah, school vaccinations. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right. She has an appointment for tomorrow to get her immunization. So now I just got to call the school and tell them. Well, there it is, Stops. Drop it right in that little wagon of Branson's. Well, we just picked up the engine to the Mustang. That's a 408 stroker right there. And uh, I keep giving Stubbsy uh, a little bit of pressure because it's not a big deal, dude. It's only about 15 grand right there, so. <laughs> uh, we got a lot into that, into that uh, engine. It's got aluminum heads on it. It's got uh, Holly Sniper fuel injection. It, uh, I mean, it's, you name it, we did it. It's got the roller rocker system, hydraulic rollers. Yeah, and it bounces. And so anyway, we got to get it over to the shop. And uh, it's just a little bit scary. It's, it could tip over. We got it strapped pretty solid, but. Tonight we are going to my brother and sister-in-law's house. Well, we're gonna go to our ward trunk or treat first, and then we're gonna go to my brother and sister-in-law's house. And they asked if I could make some taco soup and bring it. So I ran to Costco and got, I have some taco soup left from the party and I will mix it with this, but I had to go get the stuff for taco soup because I didn't have everything we needed. I'm tired, I'm hoping to do this quickly. So I get a little tiny nap in before we have to get ready for Halloween. Okay, so since I'm not eating that much today, mom said that I could wear my costume and yeah. Okay, it's time to get ready. We have a Halloween party at five. It's currently 4.15. And then freckly, we're gonna put on some mascara. One side just looks like a, I have a dirty face, the other side looks pretty good. So we're gonna go look cool. Okay, so now that I'm in my costume, well, I'm in my 
the shirt for my costume. I have my makeup on. We still have a few more minutes before I have to be finished ready. So it's 4.30 almost. But I'm gonna switch out my phone case now. But now I have my Max's Mixtape phone case, which I think I'm gonna stick in my front pocket and it'll just hang out in front of my shirt. So you can see it there. And then, just have my headphones on like that. But first I have to go plug in my phone because it's starting to die and I need to play music all night long. So I'm gonna go do that and finish getting ready. Time to become a pirate. I'm just wearing my hoodie, and jeans. Are you ready for this? <laughs> You've seen me a pirate before. This one's a little bit different. I've got a little bit different setup this time. A little bit longer beard. You can see I put a little bit of beard wax in it, but the uh, black beard is what I'm going for. So time to be a pirate. Pirate. Yes. The difference is the pants. Check out those pants. I did get some boots, but they didn't work. So I just went with the boots I had before. I thought that they were gonna turn out pretty good, but they ended up being Sarah's size, so that didn't work. Pirate. Pirate. Pirate black beard. You're asleep? No. What's the matter? Just laying down. You wanna get your costume on? Yeah. Okay, it's time. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Trick or treat! Hello. Say trick or treat! You say trick or treat! Trick or treat! Trick or treat! Did you know if you say trick or treat tonight, they'll give you candy? Or you just candy. smile? If you smile, they'll give you candy too. Can you smile? There you are. Can you smile? <laughs> oh. oh, my hat! What is this? Is she a pirate? Number this six. one? Oh, oh man! And we gotta make sure you got a second of them. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Yay, G! Oh, yeah. oh. There's something wrong with your eyes. I know, I think Branson said I'm bleeding. Are you okay? Are you okay? I don't know, I don't think so. I can't see. Do you know in the show that we watched when your eyes are bleeding, it means that you're hiding a lie? Oh. You know in the show that I watched when your eyes are bleeding, it means you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> We have some pretty exciting stuff to do tonight, and uh, I don't know, maybe you can come with us. Yeah, you can come with us, let's go. Whoa, look at you, Jedi. Did Mama sew the sleeve shut? <laughs> That's the best, dude, where are you going? <laughs> Oh boy. I'll, I have I have to take a lot of candy. One of these. Okay, trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> you'll, you'll get the hand of it. Oh, oh thank, thank you. Okay, you. everybody else has to. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, good job. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, he is going to get the hang of it. <laughs> what is that thing? I can just. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That would be. What? What did I do? Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> what did we do for you? You didn't have to knock on the door. Who's <laughs> hurt us? They're they're scared to. Go! 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 Did you get all the candy? Are you done? Ready no! To go? Okay, keep walking. Okay, apparently it's Christmas. It's Christmas. I'm waiting to set up till tomorrow. But they beat you to it. I know, but I'm saying I'm letting Halloween be a holiday. Thanksgiving doesn't deserve to be. Oh, okay. Well, Santa Claus is over here. Wait, where, wait, what? Did, did you get an ice cream? Where? Okay, I have to get. Arr, thank you. That little kid came up and just tattled on somebody to Santa. He said, he said, 
He said, Santa, Santa, they look in the dinosaur suit over there. Uh -huh. I don't know who the name he said, but it's been bad at school, really bad at school. And Santa's like, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, what is your favorite part about your costume? It's a table. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! <laughs> okay, maybe it's not a great table, but you know, it, it works. So Sarah just asked me if I took the bucket of candy and brought it in. And I told her no. And then she asked me again, did you take? I'm like, no, I didn't. Well, when we the... drove home, Canyon was standing in the front door and the bucket of candy was in between the scarecrow's legs where we left it. And I went out to get, bring it in the house and it was gone. Well, I know where it's at. Where is it? It's in the middle of the road. What? Empty. I just looked on the camera and there's some kids that came up and took it. Jumped in the back of the truck, dumped it in their thing and then threw it out there. So I think the bucket's in the middle of the road. Seriously? Stinking, <laughs> stinking, stink, stink. Well, we left it out for people and the trick-or-treaters are gone. Why not, right? Because that's not what you do. I don't, I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I just think it's a little I funny. I mean, dump the candy and take and leave the bucket where you found it. You <laughs> dingbats. Stupid teenagers. Is the bucket out there? Yeah, it's in the road, so it's not there anymore. People you are so not happy right now. Where is people's decency anyway? They're kids, I mean, they're just being dumb kids. I don't care. They left the bucket. Oh, oh. the broken bucket. Oh. Little jerks. If our kids do that, they're getting their butts kicked. You won't Seriously. know about it. Seriously though. I know. At least this guy's still intact. What happened? Remember how we keep telling you to stay away from dumb teenage boys? This is why they do dumb stuff. Yep. They put it in their car, dumped it in their car, and threw it out the window. And then it looks like they ran it over. <laughs> I think I know, like, I don't know who it was, but like, I heard people yelling and like driving away and they yeah. their car open. That was them. It's like they're doing something dumb. Yeah, that was them. I mean, it's only from the dollar store, but still, I've had this for like, it's old as Savannah. I'm sorry, I can't do it So, it's not surprising to me at all. I, I expected actually to come home and find that there was no candy left in the bucket. It's not a, it's, yeah. I'm just laughing about it because, I don't know. It's just funny to me, I guess. I don't think it's funny they did it. I, I, I think it would have been fun. It would have been amazing if I would have been alert or out by the garage or something what happened I could have had lots of fun with them they not that they would regret it but they would have definitely be going home with a better story than they stole some candy anyway we left it out for people to take and they took it because last year when we went and didn't leave any candy people were like you didn't leave out any candy and so this year I'm like okay I don't want people to come here and be like no candy so I left out candy so what are you gonna do next year nothing it's not a big deal Teenagers are going, you you have to expect that on Halloween. That's what happens. I know, but it doesn't mean it's okay. I did not say it was okay. It is not okay. I think this was like the most chill Halloween we've ever had. It was pretty chill. <laughs> it was. It was fun. Getting ready wasn't hectic. We were mostly on time to the party at five. It was fun. It was. Johnny doesn't feel very good. <laughs> He's ready to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready to go to bed. Thanks, guys, for coming hat. with us. Yeah, you're going to wear it always? I used to wear these. You're going to have to wear it on your beard, cover up your oh, beard. No. no shave November starts tomorrow. <laughs> I'll stop shaving tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys, and as always, you, you are, are worth, worth it. it. Bye on the beard. <laughs>